Hi Pisces and Pisces placements. Welcome to Pisces Tarot and Advice and welcome to your daily reading. So we're going to have a look and see what's going on for you at this time. This could be what you're dealing with on the day you find this video or it could be something happening give or take a day or two or it could just represent some guidance for you on some sort of ongoing issue. Just keep an open mind. Take the messages as they resonate with you if you feel that they do. Never force anything to fit and always check out the channel to see if any other reading stands out to you you could also have messages there all right pisces let's see what we got going on for you at the time you find this video what that day might be what the situation might be what are you dealing with and advice for your highest good So this is going to be the situation that you're dealing with or the main energy or developments of the day. This is going to be the main challenge, obstacles, things to overcome. Looking deeper, we're going to look at the root of the issue, root of the problem. We're also going to get some advice on how to deal with things, the solution. And this is going to be the overall outcome overall what the day would be about and could be about what we could turn it into if we apply the guidance all right and we'll pull oracle cards at the end and we'll do your pick a card timing uh question for you as well all right pisces pisces before we start just let me know if you would like me to do a 2025 yearly forecast for you please comment and let me know and i can get that done okay and if there's enough interest i might open it up as an option for readings um, I don't know when I'm closing them. I might be closing the general ones soon, um, within a day or two, but I would be doing, I'd be open to doing forecasts for you, for example, six months or 12 months as personal readings, if that's something you would be interested in. Um, but for the channel, just let me know if you'd like me to do a 2025 yearly forecast. Okay, cool. Thanks, Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have the seven of wands. And the Seven of Wands is a very protective energy, can be defensive sometimes, okay? This is taking a stand, defending your position, defending your beliefs, uh, standing up for what's right, standing up for what's yours, okay? Could also be a time when you just have a lot of things thrown at you. This is saying that you uh, can absolutely handle this. You may need to just come up with some priorities, you may need to come up with a plan, um, and you may need to be able to make fast decisions and to just say no real quick if it's something that is going to take away from what you're trying to achieve or split your focus or just not benefit you in any way, yeah? You could also be defending your position or defending a title um, with that as well. So let's see, in the situation, main developments, main energy of the day, okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Don't fight change, Pisces. It's not going to go well. Oh, Lord Almighty. Jesus. Okay. It's fine. It's good. It's okay. Calm down. Just talking to myself as well. Okay. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is Major Arcana Energy talking about fate at play, meant to be, developments and events. Ultimately, for our highest good, we may not see it as we're going through it. Tower. Similar energy, except it's a bit more in your face. It's a bit more a bit rash. It can be some a bit sudden or feel a bit sudden uh, and unexpected, and it's um, fast, okay? Like, blink, you miss it, and you go, what the hell happened here? Because everything's different. Um, but again, it is something that whatever's crumbling, whatever's changing, whatever's going away is meant to go away. It was dead a long time ago. It was holding us back. It wasn't real. It wasn't doing anything for us, anything good. Ten of Swords. We may feel like a bit of a victim, which is, I mean, it's normal, it's natural. Because these two, we don't get a say. Like, we don't get a say. It's happening. It, it's happening, right? You just turn up to work and they're going, we're restructuring, we're getting rid of your job. Okay, well, you didn't get a say. You didn't get a say. So you're entitled to feel this way. But the guidance is, and we'll move on to it in a minute, remember that under these energies, whatever is going away, there's a reason. There's a reason, and it's always for our highest good. It's always to elevate. It's always to bring improvement. 
this could be a situation that was again dead a long time ago but we were still holding on to it for whatever reason this is the relationship that was dead months ago maybe even years but we never quite you know put that nail in the coffin we just keep going through the motions every day because we're afraid to be alone or we're afraid to have that confrontation or that have that unpleasantness of you know now i have to move out now i have to do this. it's not fun i get it but what we also lose sight of is what we're blocking from coming in our lives by staying there you know we're blocking meeting the true love of our lives by staying in a relationship that's dead do you see what i mean so that's when the wheel of fortune with the tower would come in wipe this away and it gives you that freedom and it puts you in touch with the right people and you meet the love of your life right but if you're still here you're that's not going to happen same thing if it's job situation same thing if it's anything all right all right pisces buckle up let's see what else we're getting cool all right in the channel chat in the channel in the challenge okay maybe challenging more than challenging what is happening i may be channeling more than usual in the challenge position here we go six of cups and this is the nostalgia the selective memory of only remembering the good times in a situation and therefore that's why we don't leave uh the eternal hope unrealistic hope that you know maybe we'll get back to that someday but if you were to have a realistic approach to the situation it, it's truly never going to get back to that honestly the star as i was saying eternal hope yeah and the knight of wands so the Six of Cups in the challenge, the Six of Cups energy, this unrealistic hope, this, this idealizing or romanticizing the past, that, again, it's something that is kind of, it's not been great for a while, and it's never going to be this ever again. Um, that is blocking change, preventing change, and also it's keeping things transitory in your life. It's keeping things transitory, Okay. That's why nothing really goes a distance. That's why no matter what you do, you're still not happy. You're still not, you don't feel settled. You don't feel comfortable and at ease and at peace and like you're at, you're at home in the situation. Yeah. Um, it also keeps you running and avoiding. Addressing an ending or allowing an ending to happen or initiating it, calling it for what it is. Um, and for others of you, 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 it's a situation where you or someone you're dealing with keeps hoping that something that is transitory and temporary would turn into something more. Issue is you're blocking other blessings. You're bro blocking um, what's truly meant for your fortune, right? For some of you, the fact that you are in, you're struggling to release, and I'm not I'm trying not to sound like I'm judging because I'm not. I've been there. I've done it. We, it's what we do as humans. It is what it is. And it, there are necessary experiences for us to learn some lessons, okay? So I'm not judging. Never judging on this channel. Who am I to judge? God. Okay. Furthest from that. But for some, str uh, the struggle, um, the fact that you are holding on, or whoever this is, holding on to a dead-end situation and this illusion that maybe you'll get better, maybe this, maybe that. But the fact that you're holding on and keeping yourself in a dead-end situation, that could be a romantic relationship, could be a dead-end job, or a job that you absolutely hate, if you were to be honest with yourself, um, or a friendship that's just never served you, it's always drama, it's always, you know, just taking from you, but you hold on to it because this is your oldest friend. Well, that's not necessarily a good thing, you know? If they're doing this to you, what does it matter that they're your oldest friend? If anything, it should tell you that you have grown and, and changed, and sometimes that means we grow apart. That's okay, you know? But the fact that we're holding on to that and staying in that is impacting your health and it's impacting your money, okay? Because it's all linked. It's all energy. So what's going on in the root of things, in the foundation of everything, what it's all about? We have the Page of Cups, and this is this can be your energy, where is that optimism and that naivete, 
right? The King of Wands. And this is the confidence we need to take action in our own lives. And the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is an energy of charity, giving and receiving. It needs to be balanced. Receiving help, providing help. But it usually talks about something balancing out where one has more than they need and one is lacking. So they kind of balance it out by the one that has more kind of giving to the beggar, like we see in the card. So it's an imbalance to start with. Something is imbalanced to start with. And it's this hope that if we just continue to give to something, that eventually will balance out. But the problem with that is, at the root of everything, it started off lacking balance, and we were just perpetuating the lack of balance. Because the more we give, the more they take. It's not balancing out because it's not in its nature. The nature of that dynamic, the nature of that investment, the nature of that interaction is not balance, is imbalance. And we just perpetuate because we, treat, we try to overcompensate. What we're not realizing is we're just perpetuating the nature of that situation, which is imbalance. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. We'll be dealing with a fire sign here. So for some of you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be significant. And if not, it's just saying that in the challenge here with the root of the challenge, you may be looking at a knight of swords, sorry, knight of swords, knight of wands, knight of swords, someone who's hot and cold, someone who's in and out, someone who's um, all in or you can't track them down, very unstable again. Um, but you keep looking at a situation that's the knight of wands, hoping that if you keep giving, 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 and hoping and hoping and hoping, eventually this person will turn into the king of wands male or female doesn't matter right eventually they'll grow up eventually they'll mature eventually they'll step up or the situation will improve or the situation will mature or the situation will become stable okay and it's just perpetuating a cycle of hurt pain and feeling betrayed and feeling left out and feeling like no matter what you do you're not you're not seen, you're not recognized, you're not getting it in return. Okay? All right. And the advice. And something could be happening here that is coming to the surface, being dug up uh, for you to be able to see this under the influence of the full moon that we're one day away from um, and the influence of the Mercury retrograde shadow, period. Okay? It's Something's happening, coming back up, happening again so that we can see the pattern and break it. So in the advice, we have the Four of Cups. And this can be read as um, learn to say no. Learn to say no, not, not good enough. Have that courage, have that strength. But in order to have that courage and have that strength, the advice is for you to um, come out of this victim mentality or this... Um, just disappointed, just what's the point, very disillusioned, right? Two of Pentacles, look around to see what else is out there for you. Look around at your options, or if this is about a decision that you have to make, whether you allow something to happen and happen again or not, this is asking you, don't really get your feelings about it. Do the math. Be practical. Look at the practical things. Ask the tough questions. Does it add up? What are you giving and what are you getting? And that will tell you all you need to know. What are you giving and what are you getting? Is this a solid investment or not? Because for some of you, this can be the on again, off again situation, trying to come back around. This can be that argument. And again, it, it can be with a romantic partner or interest, but this could also be with family. It's any sort of significant other in your life, right? Um, where there's a hope that eventually things will balance out. Eventually it will be equal give and take. But it never was that from the start. Okay, that's how you'll know if this is your situation. It was never equal from the start. Okay? 
Not really. If we're going to be honest with ourselves, not really. Um, where we started the pattern of sacrifice early on in the dynamic. Okay? Of saying, you know what, I'll take care of it. You don't worry about it. I can see it's too much for you. And that started the pattern of you doing more than you should. And then the person doing less and less and less because you're doing more and more and more. And you doing more and more and more, if that's how this is resonating, was because you were hoping that, you know what, if I take care of this now, then that will take away the pressure and the stress from them. They'll calm down, they'll cool down, gather their strength, gather their energy, and then come back and go, okay, I can pick it up now. Or let me do something for you. And that never happened. Okay, not really. So you just were left in this mode of having to take on more and more and more. Hoping that leads to balance. And it never did. So let's see. In the outcome. If the advice is taken. We have the sun. Truth, clarity, victory. Truth, clarity, victory. Ace of swords. And strength. Seeing the truth, knowing the truth, and taking action accordingly. Okay? And there's also a sense of victory, finding a new path, finding a better path. So if this is something going on in your relationship circle, whether it's romantic or familial or uh, social, this is um, having the strength, the energy, the courage of your conviction to say no thank you, okay, if someone's trying to come back, for example, or perpetuate an unhealthy pattern, to say no thank you, not happening, that will give you freedom, it will replenish your energy, it will replenish your resources, it will replenish your health or your financial health because you will have cut off this black hole from your life. If it's a situation where something is changing and you didn't get a say. Then it's saying, try not to stay in victim mode for too long. Try not to uh, romanticize whatever situation is that was going away. Try not to, to uh, you know, try too hard to find the benefits of it. You know, just so you can say, no, that was actually a good thing. I don't want it to go away. Look at it realistically. Okay. And you will have the truth, the clarity that, you know what, that was a dead end job for me. I hated it to begin with. Um, the only benefit to it is that I was getting paid. But if I was really to look at it for, you know, the stress it was causing me, the anxiety it was causing me and what was all going on over there, what I had to deal with and the money that I was being paid didn't, didn't add up anyway. So then that frees you up to start looking for the right thing for yourself, something that you'll be happy in. Right? And that means you're going to have a new opportunity come in very quickly for you. The sun and the ace of swords. As soon as you apply, you'll get a reply. Okay? That rhymes. Um, for others of you, if this is some sort of restructure, replacement, again, Mercury retrograde, that type of energy, restructure, replacement, um, and they're telling you something's going away, this is asking you to keep your head up and keep talking about options ask about options because chances are they have something else to offer you. They have an alternative for you. They will exchange, give you something in exchange. We're taking this away from you, but we're giving you this. If that's compensation, if that's severance package, or if that's a different role or a different job opportunity, but there is something they're giving you in exchange and that will be much better for you. Okay. So try not to hold on. And definitely try not to put yourself in a position where you're giving away your power and you're willing to put yourself in a hole just so whatever's trying to leave your life doesn't leave your life. Do you see what I mean? Go with the change. That's the biggest challenge when the Wheel of Fortune turns up. See where it's trying to take you because it's trying to take you somewhere better. Especially with the Tower and the Ten of Swords, it's trying to clear away from your life and your energy something 
that is a constant source of sor sorrow, loss, hurt, pain, betrayal, disappointment, lack. It's trying to clear that from your life. And the only person that can block that from happening is you. Okay? Because we have free will. The change is going to happen anyway. But we decide how we're going to deal with it. If we're going to embrace it and be hopeful and positive, then it'll turn into a really beautiful experience a little bit down the line when the dust settles. Or if we turn it into, I don't know, kicking and screaming and trying to fight something that's already done, then that's going to lead to more of this perpetuating in your life. Okay? So just some things to be mindful of. Under the Seven of Wands, we have the Empress. Don't block your blessing. Okay? Don't block your blessing. And don't lower your standards. Don't compromise your integrity. Remember what you deserve. Remember your worth. Show yourself the love, the appreciation, the support, the respect. Okay? Don't lower yourself or stoop to someone else's level. That is also coming up. All right. So let's look at your oracles for Pisces when it comes to the situation. Oracle energy and advice for Pisces when it comes to the situation. What else do they need to know about what's coming in, about why this is happening, and how they should approach it for their highest good. All right, bottom of the deck. Look at it. We have door to personal healing and happiness. 34 adding up to a 7. And that's strength, truth, wisdom, courage. Whatever, whatever's going away or trying to go away or crumbling or trying to crumble, um, it's only to open a new door to you, for you, uh, to a place that will be healthier, happier, and more abundant for you. But that can happen. We're not even going to see this door while we're pinned down, face down, in this pattern of hurt, pain, betrayal, and sorrow. Or constant sacrifice. We have 22, yin-yang. It's all about balance. Something is trying to balance out in your life. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is trying to turn, okay? And it's important that we go with it. It's important to look at things from that kind of a balanced approach. What am I putting in? What am I getting? And if, if it's a situation that brings me nothing but stress, anxiety, and loss, or sacrifice, how upset should I be that it's going away? You know? What else could I do to fill that space? What else would I, would I be free to do if I didn't have to deal with this? Because it's a situation where deep down or consciously you said at some point or you thought to yourself or you've had dreams about it, about it ending or you ending it. And then when you go to do it, you start and question yourself and get cold feet about it, right? But consciously and or subconsciously, you have been thought, thought, thinking and wishing and envisioning this ending. And that's why it's happening. All right? That's, that's why the tower is here. It's not something completely unrelated, you know? It's something that deep down you knew it's not quite right. But you kept trying to patch it up, you know, just to keep it standing. But every day something else would, would crumble. Every day a brick would fall off the thing and you'd have to redo it, rebuild it, put more bricks on, put more reinforcement on it, give more to it. And still stuff would be falling off the structure every day, every week. 27, walking away. There's a balancing out so that you can walk away. Finally, release yourself, free yourself from something that has been restrictive, kept you closed off, it kept you limited in your resources, in your freedom, in your whatever. And this is all happening so that you can free yourself and walk away 
from that kind of situation. Healer of the ages, 51. So that healing can happen. Freedom can come in. You can turn a new leaf where there's health, there's happiness, and there's abundance. In your physical health, your mental self, your emotional self, in your finances, and in your environment. And the types of connections and interactions you're now going to be a part of, right? What you're leaving behind, hostilities. 26, adding up to eight, an 8, a cycle of hardship, difficult, challenge, fighting, sacrificing. Healing from that, breaking the cycle and healing from it. So that whatever it is that you're moving towards and starting to build after this crumbles, will be stable, will be reliable, will be balanced, will be long-lasting. True strength. Yes? Okay. Because whatever this is, Pisces, it's been sucking you dry, mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially. So what would happen, Pisces, if you stopped fighting this ending? What would happen? What would happen? Because with the Ten of Swords, it can't be worse than this. Anything else is going to be better. Anything else is going to be better. Not to mention what's coming in with the sun energy. That is happiness, freedom, new energy, replenished energy. Happiness. I've said that a few times because it's the happiest card in the deck. You finally finding your path, your purpose, the path you're meant to walk on in, like for the rest of your life or a considerable amount of time. Meaning what? It's reliable. It's consistent. It's healthy. It's balanced. So I really hope this helps you, Pisces. So let's answer your timing question. Think of a question on your mind that, you know, would answer a, a when will this happen type of question. Um, and pick a number between one and three. So when will the situation on Pisces' mind happen for them? When will the situation on Pisces' mind happen for them? Okay. Guys, remember, like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment, let me know about the forecast if you want to see them or if you want that as personal readings as well. Um, and I'll see what I can do for you. And thank you all. All right, number one, we have at night. It doesn't um, seem too far off in the distance. Okay, so this is soon and it'll be nighttime when it happens. So that, that's your clue. Number two, the festive season, which is just around the corner where I'm recording this. Okay, we just wrapped up Halloween and we're headed towards Christmas. So that's that's when it's going to happen. And number three, it's not the right time. So you may have to let it go for now, come back to it later. Or it's saying, um, yeah, that's what it's saying. There's a pause energy. There's a pause energy. So focus on other things for now. Come back to this later. It will be a better time for it to come together. All right, so Pisces, that's what I have for us today. Let me know how I resonate with the ring if you do. Um, really looking forward to your thoughts on this one. So I'm looking forward to your comments. Thank you all for your love and support. Special thanks to my members, as always, for your extra support. Very much appreciated. Um, so have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.